Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and in this video review, I'm going to be taking a look at levels by mastering the mix. Now, what is levels? Well, levels is a very straightforward yet very powerful metering plugin. Now, levels provides us with a lot of visual feedback in relation to headroom, dynamic range, stereo field, and bass space. Now, let me just play some music and I'll talk you through each of these sections. Okay, so on the main screen here, we've got this mono switch. Monitor left, monitor right. Now, as you can see here, the headroom section has gone off saying that I'm peaking at minus 0.4 dB. And as you can see in Pro Tools, I'm not. Now, this is just here to make sure we mix with enough headroom for mastering later on. And we can change the character of this up here in the settings, and we can choose between balanced, dynamic, loud, and punchy. This is a fairly punchy track. I'm gonna keep it on punchy, click back, and I shouldn't have any more problems with this, but this is just there to help me mix with some headroom to be able to turn this up later in the master, so it's really useful. Let's move across the dynamic range. And this shows up in three different colors to show you how much you're squashing your dynamic range. So I'm gonna use an L2 here by Waves, and I'm gonna squish my mix just to show you how this reacts. Okay, you can hear it obviously getting a bit pumpy and distorted, so let's bring it back. Really useful. So let's move across to Stereo Field. And we've got a low pass here. It just shows us what's going on in the bottom ends, which is really useful for making sure that you've got your low subs and everything right up the middle instead of them being sort of spread out in the stereo. So let's use this Boz Digital Width plugin here to make everything mono. And to widen it out again. I mean, the bass is pretty good on this song anyway. Let's go back. Now push the stereo field with this Nugent Audio plugin and you can see what happens if you push it. Very similar to the dynamic range, it goes yellow and red. And we've got this bass space, which is really useful. And it says mute the bass guitars and the kick drums. So let's do that, hit done. This shows us what's going on right down in the lower ends. So we can use low cut filters to take away anything from other instruments and parts in the song, leaving space really just for the kick and bass instruments. It's a really useful feature that. Now back over to the settings page here. Even though we've got these mixing and mastering presets, we still have the choice to adjust these further if we wish, which is really useful. So what are my final thoughts on levels by mastering the mix? Well, we all know metering is important, but being able to do all of these things in one very simple and easy to read plugin is brilliant. It really didn't take me long to learn how to use this. It tells me the important information I need to know about my mix and or master, but it doesn't stop me from doing what I normally do in my mix, if you know what I mean. But the bass space, I really like that feature because what it's doing, it's asking me a question. Turn off your kick, turn off your bass guitars, turn off your bass instruments and just listen to your mix and it will tell you what's left over. And you know, if you want to take that away with a low cut filter, you can or you don't, it's completely up to you. So brilliant plug in this, it's well worth checking out. Let us know your thoughts of levels in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert and thanks for watching.